So I grew up in a period when it was taught and we understood that if you work hard and you put your nose to the grindstone that things are going to work out for you, that, that you'll be successful and uh, you'll be happy. And I reached a point in my life last March of 2021, uh, turned 57 years old, and I had done exactly what I was taught. I put my nose to the grindstone, I got an education, I learned a skill, I put 21 of the best years of my life with a company, and I was unhappy. I was miserable. I had a wife, very loving wife, I had a great son, I own my own home, we own our vehicles, we're, we have the things that are supposed to make you happy, and I was miserable. And I woke up with this aha one morning, and I turned to my wife and I said, I'm going to retire. And I'm retiring early, at a significant bite to my pension. And she supported me 100%. She said, do it. She knew I was miserable, and she was miserable right along with me. So, we both took a chance. I retired. I took my pension. And I spent the last year doing the things that I love. And I have been so fortunate that my son has been available to do most of it with me. And we have backpacked, and we have hiked, and we have overland, overlanded, we have canoed, we have just done everything we could possibly do to explore and to be happy. And all of this with the full support of my wife, sitting at home, excited that finally I was a person who actually liked myself. That's something for me. That's... 57 years I spent on this planet hating myself and in the last year finally been happy finally found a purpose finally found some adventure and some joy in my life and I will never ever regret it So, Taylor and I just set out to, we watched videos on YouTube, and I, I thought, I could do that. I want to share this. I want to share what I'm going to do this year with anybody who would be interested. So I bought the equipment, and I slowly learned how to use it. <laughs> you can see in some of my earlier videos, like the Rogue River, that I hadn't, I hadn't a clue of what I was doing. But, uh... The year has been a year of learning and just expression and amazement. And <clears throat> we started out with our first trip on the Rogue River. And we hiked 40 miles along the Rogue River, Taylor and I. And we got done with that trip and we were tired and we were sore and we were so excited for whatever was next and uh, so I made more plans did Smith Rock which I learned a lot on did that solo uh, Smith Rock Overlook uh, where I learned a lot I did that solo I did Big Indian Gorge in the Steens Mountain which to this point has been my absolute favorite trip uh, if you ever get a chance to experience uh, Little Blitzen Gorge or Big Indian Gorge in Steens Mountain. Um, do it. You won't regret it. I was in that gorge for three days by myself. I didn't see another hiker until I was going out. And uh, did river crossings. Just the waterfalls were amazing. The Aspens, which you don't see a lot of in Oregon. My wife and I are from Colorado. Moved out to Oregon seven years ago, and best one of the best choices we ever made was to move to Oregon. 
amazing state amazing people there's a vibration here that is unmatched anywhere else in this country it is it just calls to you so if you get a chance to do Big Indian Gorge put that on your list uh, Taylor and I had originally planned a canoe trip down the Missouri River we had done a canoe trip when he turned 16 into Canada uh, we spent almost 10 days canoeing up into the man chain lakes in the boundary waters into Canada and uh, it kind of set the stage for this past year for us so we canoed down the Missouri River uh, same route that Lewis and Clark took and uh, we had a lot of fun um, learned some more about canoeing on a big river because the wind was not something that we expected <laughs> the wind took us for a ride a couple times but the peacefulness and just sitting quietly in a canoe and in pure amazement of the environment around you um, it built a bond between us and uh, it's something that I would do again if I could um, we've backpacked other places we decided during the weeks we had uh, we had some work to do around the house we, we built a new deck and we built a new 300 foot cedar fence and we just did home improvements all summer so during those times we we spent on a local trail in Portland called the Wildwood Trail and uh, we would do it in sections there's no camping on that trail it's a 30 mile trail through uh, Forest Park near Portland Oregon and so we had to break it up in sections so we broke it up in five to eight mile sections and uh, hiked that on the days when we were itching to get back out and we couldn't because we were in the middle of a project so we built that series and after that we uh, wanted to do the coastal the Oregon Coast Trail and uh, in researching that trail we found that most of that trail was on busy on a busy highway 101 uh, narrow a lot of traffic and uh, a lot of the um, blogs and, and a lot of the diary entries and, and, and people who have done it talk about how dangerous it is and, and so that's not something that interested us so we broke it up into trips along the Oregon coast and we picked out 10 hikes on the Oregon coast and picked out five days that we could do them and Taylor says that that was his most favorite experience in the world is our five days on the hike in the Oregon coast and uh, there's some beautiful things he the big spruce was amazing and uh, the octopus tree Cape Mares and uh, Cape Kiwanda and I'll tell you what that Lewis and Clark Discovery Trail from Seaside to Cannon Beach through E. Cola State Park one of the prettiest trails I've ever been on it's so beautiful the, the the green is just amazing um, the Fort to Sea Trail I was on my own lost my drone on that trail <laughs> it's the last time I flew my, flew my drone I uh, crashed it into the trees <laughs> and we spent we spent half a day actually most of a day looking for that thing hacking through blackberries and trying to get to it so uh, that was the last time I flew the drone. I, I turned it over to Taylor at that. He's the big gamer, you know, he's into that and he He operates that drone expertly. You probably hear it in the background. He's flying it right now over this lake behind me And uh, we're getting some drone footage for this for this video and uh, So uh, The Fort to Sea was a lot of fun Easy trail. Uh, it was real easy. It was downhill most of the way so <laughs> you can't beat that, right? Um, I tried to do a, a backpacking trip solo on uh, Dutch Flat Creek and uh, it's out in Eastern Oregon off 84 and uh, I got back in there and hiked in half a day and the fire smoke from Idaho and Washington and Oregon was so thick and I started having breathing problems and allergies were just killing me and I was miserable on that trip, so I, I knew when to call it quits. I turned around, hiked back out, and uh, counted that as one of my failure trips. But uh, 
I don't know. It's it's uh it's been a good year. And if you can do it, and even if you can't do it, I recommend you try because there's so much more to happiness than having a skill and a good job and a pension and a house. There's so much more to happiness than that. And you're you may find it doing something different, you know, rehabbing cars or or walking across the country, I don't know, bicycling, but I really really recommend you do find something you love and dedicate yourself to it and uh, have an amazing year like we did.